Hello, this is Tom Wilson. I'm here with the uh, 14th Annual Disability uh, Pride Parade, and we're broadcasting it live on cable access TV here in Chicago on Channel 27. Um, we look forward to having a beautiful parade today. And I hear lots of noise, so I think the parade has stepped off, and we'll soon see them. Here they come. Okay, I see the banner, and it says Disability Pride Parade. And I know that we have some people chanting very loud. They're talking about disability rights and disability power. And the parade is coming down Dearborn Street. And we have in the front of the parade, the banner, of course. Then we have the marshals. And our grand marshals this year is a family. It's Karen and Kevin and Dominica Tamley. And they were featured very prominently in a Mary Schmick story in the uh, Tribune this week. So maybe we can get one word from Kevin here. What, Kevin, what do you have to say about the Disability Pride Parade? Uh, I love the Disability Pride Parade. It's my favorite time of the year. I love seeing Adaptive Chicago Productions here. And I'm just, I'm happy that the rain went away and it's a beautiful day to celebrate Disability Pride. All right. Thanks. Glad to hear from Thanks for being here. Yep, yep. We're still in the mix, though. All right. I Glad to see you. Right. I'm good. I'm good. Right yep, yep. Here's the uh, uh, Community Care Alliance of Illinois. They're a, a, a Medicaid managed care organization. And that's some of their staff that are rolling by. So we're glad to have them in the parade. Uh, Medicaid managed care is how um, a lot of people with disabilities get their health care. And this group right here is the uh, spinal cord, I mean the uh, I'm spina bifida association. What do you know about them, Mike? Uh, they are a wonderful group. They've been around for a very long time. Okay. And next we have Access Living. Access power Living. Power to the people. Yeah, their banner says power to the people. All right. And um, Access Living was one of the first 10 centers for All independent right. living in the country. Great and here comes some of their staff. Access Living. And uh, their float. All right. Disability rights or human rights is one of their slogans here. And I see a lot of purple t-shirts. So that's the uh, Access Living group. Hey, here comes Adam Ballard. Hi, Adam. What do you have to say about the Pride Parade today? Um, the Pride Parade's wonderful. Look, we got a uh, beautiful weather. We got a huge crowd of people coming behind us. Um, it's one of the biggest lineups I've ever seen here. So I'm really excited to be here. And Access Living and Power to the People are here to spread the message of power for our community. All right. Glad All to hear right. it. Good to see you guys. All right. Bye. All right. All right. We have equal access across Chicago. That's a project of Access Living, I know. And now we have Momenta coming up. Have you seen Momenta before, Mike? No, Momenta is new. They seem to be very exciting. Well, Momenta is a, an adaptive dance group where they integrate uh, able-bodied and disabled dancers together. And. Um, their slogan on their banner is, everybody can dance. Yeah. So we'll celebrate that. Here's my good buddy, Chris. <laughs> OK. Hello, dancers. So are you dancing your way through the parade? Yes, I am. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Hi. OK. Then we have an adaptive climbing project. These folks actually climb walls and rocks and I don't know what all. And they say that anybody can climb, I think, or almost That's anybody great. can make it with uh, uh, proper assistance. And then we have the OT department from Midwestern University. And uh, they have on their uh, Chicago flag type t-shirts. And they seem to be dancing through the parade too. We have a lot of excitement in this year's parade. We sure do. The, the enthusiasm is really out there, you can tell. All right, let's see now. Go. Oh, we have a new Vision Unlimited, year. all right. Sounds good. A little steel drum music, hello? All bodies are good bodies. That's a very nice slogan. Hello. 
And now we have the mayor's office for people with disabilities. You know, um, Karen Tamley, who's the, one of the marshals and her family, she's the director of the mayor's office for disabilities. And that's some of their staff marching today. Here comes Annixter Center. Let's see if we can get somebody to say something. Hello, George. Hello, everybody. What does Annixter say? Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? Okay, so they let you know who they are. Annixter is a social service provider, and they also do a program that uh, refers out uh, sign language interpreters for and the next deaf. Next, we have coming up. The, the Family Resource Center. Okay, Mike, tell us what you know about them. Uh, the Family Resource Center helps families that have children with disabilities. All right, that's an important resource, isn't it? Very important. Okay, now we have the Second Unitarian Church. They say, affirms the inherent worth and dignity of every person. Thank you, thank you for marching today. Open doors. Oh, you're with the Family Resource Center? Paula. Yeah, we are Family Resource Center on Disabilities. We train parents to advocate for their children in special education. We're so happy to be here at the 14th Annual Disability Pride Parade, you know, and we really appreciate all the work everyone puts, up, puts in on it. Okay, thank you. And all right, name? Paula Wills. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Paula. All right. Yep, yep, we're glad to have Paula and her group here at the 14th Annual Disability Pride Parade, and we're broadcasting it live on CAN TV. Now, hi, everybody. I, I, was, I think we have a, hello, hello. That yeah. was the Church for the Deaf. Oh, that's the Church for the Deaf. That's a very important institution in Chicago. They have services in sign, of course. Yes. Epilepsy Foundation, hello. Do you want to say a word to uh, CAN TV? Oh, Kurt uh, Florian is our CEO. Any, you want to say a word to CAN TV? Hi. Uh, the Epilepsy Foundation provides uh, case management, counseling, advocacy, uh, as well as education to a 43-county area. Next, we have Easter Seals, which Easter Seals is a social service agency that provides services at, to families with disabilities. Thank you. Okay, now we have the Easter Seals salutes. Woo! Hello, yeah. Easter Seals. And they have also an Hi, autism Paul awareness uh, 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 float here. I think it's a converted uh, a truck turned into an autism awareness. And that's also Easter Seals. Here we have Aetna. Aetna is a uh, managed care company for Medicaid and uh, they also serve a lot of people in the disability community. Okay, now we have Hyatt. Hyatt, as most people know, is a very large hotel chain, but I think they're known to uh, hire people with disabilities. People with disabilities since 1989. Well, that's a good thing. So they, they've been making an effort to hire people with disabilities. We uh, appreciate that. Yes, we do. Okay, now we are here with CAN TV uh, for the uh, 14th Annual uh, Pride Parade. And, oh, we have, <laughs> we have somebody twirling batons, all right. Now, here comes UIC. UIC has a disability studies program. They have many other programs, an institute on uh, human development and so on. And uh, these are people that work for UIC, and uh, they study and uh, encourage improvements in life, people with disabilities, with their programs. So. <laughs> okay, the Arch is a, a religious community that supports people with disabilities. I know that they are, uh, Hello, they like to uh, help people with disabilities get in the outdoors, I know, is one and of their now we have Progress Center for Independent Living, hey. which is another 
Here we go, and Mike. We're not living center. We have Clark here. Hi, Dad. My name is Clark Craig. I'm here with Larry Biagi. We work at Project Center Friendship and Living, which serves people with disabilities across suburban Cook County. In and fact, what area do you serve? Suburban Cook County. And we work to help people live at the Next lives. we have... Okay, and here we have Larry, a long-time advocate with progress and adapt, right, Larry? Yeah. What do you think? I've been... I've been... I've been... I've been... I've been... Happy to be here? Yeah. All right, got it, Larry. Thank you. Northern Trust. Yep, Northern Trust is a, a Chicago-based bank. And we're happy that they're here supporting the Disability Pride Parade. And we have Telling Tales Theater. Telling Tales Theater is an integrated theater group, and they work with children with disabilities, and they must have an event coming up, <laughs> right? Tomorrow, we have a show. They have a show tomorrow. All right, that's really nice to hear. And All we right. Have the Chicago Transit Authority, CTA. Hello, train. What a nice ride you have. The CTA train. And now we have a high, high school. Yep. Now we have, celebrating 27 years of the ADA, um, we have a, a banner. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. I, I, And here we have the CTA with a very large trailer. I'm, and, and I see that's what their train must ride on. And the CTA is very important for people with disabilities. Right. Many people with disabilities cannot drive, so public transit is an essential service for and many now people. We have the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. And, and what were they used to be known as? Formerly known as RIC, the Rehabilitation Institute. Chicago. Okay. Next we have Equip for Equality. Equip for Equality. Hello, hello. The Equip for Equality is the uh, legal arm of the disability rights movement. They're uh, funded through uh, uh, federal uh, legislation and they advocate for children with disabilities. They advocate for adults with disabilities. They protect all kinds of rights. All right. Now we have El Valor. El Valor is a service provider based in the Latino community, but serving people of all races and creeds and colors. And El Valor has probably the loudest float we've heard yet, right, Mike? El Valor is really stepping up this year. I think I see more people dancing. This yeah. is a year for the dance, actually. All right. So El Valor has their uh, main offices in the Pilsen community right here in Chicago. And uh, I know that they have some uh, uh, community living situations that they uh, support and also some employment programs. And um, we're happy to see El Valor here today supporting Disability Pride. All right. Let's listen to a little music here. Woo. Okay, now we have the Chicagoland Autism Connection. They're a support group for people with autism. I know that they meet regularly and that that is a really important support for families. So, and then we have Keen. Keen is another uh, community-based uh, organization that helps families of, uh, that have disabled members. As you can see, there's quite a few young people and, and families marching with the Keen group. All right. Now, what do we have next here, Mike? Bradley. All right. You know those folks? Uh, there's and here's Eden Supported Living. Mm -hmm. 
They have uh, several supportive living facilities. Yes. And uh, they're an alternative, uh, certainly, to oppressive institutions like nursing homes, which we're not, to, the disability community has fought long and hard to get people free from institutions where For people with disabilities are deprived freedom and access to a real life. And we have the Chicago Public Library celebrating diversity here. <laughs> so, everybody is welcome at the library and I know they have some accessibility uh, uh, features so that people with disabilities can use the library. That's an important resource for everybody. And then we have the African American Parents for Purposeful Leadership and Education. And I know that they are fighting for uh, better special education programs for their kids, for integrating their kids into uh, the mainstream classrooms whenever possible. So There's all kinds of organizations are out for the parade today. Parade. We're very happy to have the African American parents for inclusive and uh, quality disabled education. And here we come with <laughs> Uh, some puppets, and these puppets are say, uh, making a political commentary uh, about, I think, well, one thing would be about funding services for people <laughs> with disabilities. Yes. We need to have uh, uh, funding because services are how people advance in life. People with disabilities sometimes have needs that their families cannot take care of. Right. And, and here comes improve. improve. Improve and be nice. And I also have Ann Sheets here. And what do you think of the parade today and what's happening? It's an awesome parade and we in the single payer movement are happy to be here working for everybody to have high quality health care that's also affordable and complete choice of providers. Wonderful. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Yes. And here we have Susan Arab. She's on the uh, Pride Parade Committee, I know. And next we have the Action Tracker Chair. And this looks like something that's like uh, tank treads on a wheelchair and they show people out in the uh, swamps and the woods mm -hmm. getting around so technology is an important thing for people with disabilities I technology zoom. allows people to do things that they couldn't now do otherwise open door taxi do you use open door taxi yes i do yeah they are an alternative to paratransit Okay, and we're really happy that they uh, provide good service, right? Yes. And here comes three of their cabs. Hmm? I'm good, thank you. So open, open taxi, uh, open doors taxi is uh, something fairly new. They've been around several years but they are a way you can call and get an accessible cab and uh, get to things, you know, with paratransit, you have to call a day ahead, have a plan, and with the taxi, it gives you a lot more flexibility and freedom. So we're just glad that there's alternatives for people with disabilities. And now we have a new okay. participant. Disability the Policy Office, okay, Chicago Park District. Well, we're glad they're here today for the 14th annual Disability Pride Parade. Yes, we are. And uh, we see a bunch of people riding in a float that looks like they're in the park under the trees and with the uh, soccer goal and the uh, football goal posts. So I do know that Chicago Park District has programs for uh, disabled children yes. and adaptive programs that allow ch uh, disabled children to participate in, in many of the things that yeah, they do. Who do we have here? Hello, this is uh, the uh, Caring for Illinois Community float Hello. sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield. Blue Cross Blue Shield is another Medicaid uh, managed care plan. So we know that they have serve a lot of people with disabilities. Um, healthcare is a very important issue for people with disabilities. And we've seen that at the federal level lately, there have been some important challenges to that, that program. Some people have wanted to cut Medicaid, and we would say no cuts and no caps to that one. Okay, we have the Blue Cross Blue Shield care van, and now we have their uh, 
Okay. What can you tell us about Lake County, Mike? Lake County is another uh, independent living center that uh, provides assistance to people with disabilities. Okay, and Lake County is north of Chicago, right? Right. So, they're waiting for the parade to move on. We have a little lull here. And uh, again, I just want to let people know that we're really happy that uh, if you're tuned in, that Can TV is broadcasting on 27, yes. having the parade live today. And I'm glad to see that there's a lot of new groups in this year's parade. Yes, I think I've seen more children than ever before. Would you say that's right? Yes. Disabilities are normal too, and that's a good message. Disability is a natural part of life. Uh, census figures would say about 18% of the population um, uh, people, of people have uh, disabilities of one sort or another. Uh, many people have a period in their life when they're disabled. And, and now we, we need to have policies pace. and programs that address the needs of people with disabilities. We have PACE. Is this PACE, this big blue bus? Yes. Okay, that's a suburban bus company, right? Yes. And do they have accessible places on those buses? Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, I think they're required by law, and they would have a ramp to get on. And they also have the van pool. And they also have the paratransit service, which is door to door. Yes. I was mentioning PACE or paratransit earlier. It, the one thing about it is you do have to call a day in advance to schedule your rides. Um, but uh, for people who can't go out in the super cold or in the hot or who cannot um, navigate to the bus stop, the PACE is a very strong alternative and something that many people rely on. And they also have a van pool. Okay, they have a, a vans. I know you can even... I think rent them on your own if you were to uh, need uh, yeah. a van to take to out of town or some event. Yeah. Disability pride. This is uh, people mm -hmm. who have worked on the parade. They are wearing their, the, their, the, the red t-shirts today are, uh, indicate volunteers, yep. That have stepped up and made the parade possible. So now we see the police, and I think that may have been the last contingent in the parade. Mike, let's turn this way. And we are very happy that the parade was uh, such a success this year. We had lots of dancing, lots of music, and uh, lots of uh, floats. So this has been a really good year for the parade. Um, we weren't quite so sure yesterday when it was yeah. raining and cats and dogs and last night thundering and ev even this morning I think there was uh, still some drizzling going on but it's turned out to be a really beautiful day for the parade not too hot not too cold and we saw a lot of people turn out and as you said Mike a lot of children this year so yes. that, that's a good thing for the future right yes we want our disabled children to grow up proud and um, we know that by seeing good role models like the uh, family of the parade marshal the people were more likely to i think um, push the limits and try to achieve whatever is possible and that's what we want for people with disabilities to live in regular homes to go to regular schools to have regular jobs and we know that people with disability can contribute an awful lot to society so thank you for uh, uh, listening to the and watching the parade today.